Troy at the full setup here back with another video. Now in today's video I will be reviewing the Deepcool Gamax GT RGB CPU cooler. Now I already know what a lot of you are thinking. Is this just another 120 tower cooler with an RGB fan slapped on the side and a premium price bump? Well kind of. The Deepcool GT is selling for around the £50 mark and it is equipped with one of their RF120 1500 RPM mixed airflow fans. But Deepcool know better than just to slap a colourful fan on the side and expect people to pay a premium. So how did Deepcool stand out from the crowd in an ever-growing RGB market? Well the heatsink top cover available in black and silver editions isn't just to cover the ends of the four direct contact copper heat pipes, it's also fully RGB enabled which is perfect for people who want an RGB RGB centerpiece for their build but don't require a £100 plus AIO cooler. As for RGB setup, Deepcool provide two options. The first is used by the included controller that hooks up to a spare SATA port on your power supply. The controller offers buttons for various lighting modes, brightness and speed of lighting effects. My only complaint about the controller is that it only has connections for two RGB devices. I find this odd as the cooler does come with extra clips for push-pull fan configurations. If you were considering adding extra fans, I would suggest purchasing the RF120 triple pack as the controller allows connections for up to six devices. The second method of connection is by using the included RGB motherboard sync cable. Before you ask, no matter what software your motherboard provides, whether it's AuraSync, RGB Fusion or Mystic Light to name a few, the entire Deepcore RGB range will sync with your motherboard's universal RGB connector. Moving on to installing the cooler, I would rate the install process as 8 out of 10, it can get a little bit fiddly putting the fan on, but the rest is pretty simple. The included backplate is required for both Intel and AMD installation. Start by putting in the 4 hex nuts that are for your CPU socket type. Line up the backplate with your motherboard and screw in the 4 round retention nuts. Drop a small amount of the included thermal paste on your CPU and screw on your CPU cooler, the small brackets are for Intel and the larger for AMD. If you're installing outside of the case, I never fully tighten coolers as this can cause your motherboard to bend with some coolers, to so just give it that final turn when it is mounted in your case. Now all you need to do is spend some time clipping that fan on, plug in the fan's PWM connector, choose your RGB option and you are good to go. So how does the Deepcool Gamax GT perform? Well with an i5-8400 locked at 3.8GHz, the cooler has no trouble keeping this CPU in check. First I tested the Asus standard fan profile with the Windows High Performance Power Plan and after 30 minutes of IDA64 stress testing, the CPU was at 63 degrees, not bad as the fans were spinning at a virtually silent 700 RPM. Bumping all seven of my RF120 fans to their max 1500 RPM, the system is definitely audible but it isn't deafening and there's no nasty coil winds coming from the fans. As for 30 minutes of Ida 64, the i5-8400 is at a nice cool 54 degrees. Moving on to some gaming, I'm currently using the Asus Turbo Fan Profile. I find this profile provides silent operation when performing non-demanding tasks with a nice bump for more demanding scenarios. And as you can see, temperatures are under 55 degrees throughout when playing Battlefield 1. So there is a quick overview, install and thermal performance test of the Deepcool Gamax GT RGB cooler. Now I know I only tested with an i5-8400 processor, but there was more than enough thermal headroom for some overclocking on maybe a Ryzen 5 or a Quad Core Intel. I definitely think this cooler would struggle with an 86 or 8700 K, but if you're overclocking those CPUs, you're most likely looking at high performance AIO water coolers, which really brings me back to exactly who this cooler is for. The Deepcool GT is for the PC builder that wants an RGB centerpiece but doesn't require high end overclocking hardware. £50 may be steep for a 120 tower cooler, but this is by far the most beautiful 120 cooler on the market. Anyway, that's it from me today. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. If you really, really like the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll be back with some more videos very soon.